Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Android 9.5 beta update with one UI for our Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus also received the Android beta update, which is the Android 9.0 beta update with Galaxy uh, with the one UI and it's not now Samsung experience with the one UI. So let's move into settings and into about phone, you can see into software info you can see uh, software info 1 UI version 1.0 and Android version 9 and you can see and this is a like TWRB flashable zip of the original update because it was only for the beta registered users so you can also register it like it was before but I didn't register it because I was on custom ROM so for those who are like not registered and you can uh, flash a TWRB version because it's already uh, a year old Galaxy S8 and now you can like flash custom ROM so why not this and this is a normal custom ROM not a modified one so don't worry you also have options for root and custom ROM means it's based on the official update only it's not a fake one so you can see going into settings into about phone software info you can see one new UI version 1.0 Android version 9 and you can see my baseband version is still crap because the last time I installed the stock Chrome is this like the crap which was the Oreo update and also you can see kernel version 4.1.1 and you can see Serenex is enforcing you can see G950F Friday January 11 and you can see security patch is January 1 so yeah we also get the latest security patch by the Samsung I can see let's take a look at the launcher you can see launcher is like the old version only like from the oreo then into home screen settings you can see now we get everything with the one ui like it's actually one ui so we get one ui stuff so you can see home screen layout home screen grid app screen app icon badges apps button lock home screen layout then add apps to home screen quick notification pan yes this option is really necessary and portrait mode only so you can lock your home screen to portrait mode even if you turn landscape and landscape it is on and you can see quick open panel which is really handy for the like one ui so that's actually great now let's take a look at the system changes so first is the quick settings and you can see the quick settings is now full screen now in first swipe you can see we get all of the icons here six icons like not all of the six icons here is the date the time the search icon and the settings icon and when you just like pull it down you will get all of the full screen like you can see here the time the date the day and the screen the three dot menu where we can go to status bar options button grade and button order and you can see you can easily use this quick settings you can easily reach the wi-fi you can easily turn on Bluetooth. You can also easily access uh, a lot of stuff here. You can see uh, portrait and all of the quick settings you can easily access. So that's why it is called the One UI. Now let's check it to the settings. So in the settings, you can see the settings menu is also now One UI Fide. So I am calling it One UI Fide. So you can see you can easily access with one hand going down see all of the categorizations are changed biometrics and security lock screen wallet version themes display sound and notifications you can see it's changed sound vibrations and then notification the display the layout is also changed then we have about phone you can see we get this info easily and you can see if you want to edit it with one hand only like it was here before and you cannot like you can see it difficult to reach but then with the one swipe which is because of the one UI you can easily edit stuff software info you can check easily like you can also have I don't know why Samsung should have given some animation here but yeah here we have your all new animation and it's January 1 patch I don't know why Google is not pushing that animation which is present in the normal so yeah that's it just for Android P now let's take a look at the Android Pi apps which is one new apps and you can see the dialer you can easily access with one hand and the contacts and you can see has the same shit which you can access with one hand so one UI is actually one handed UI and which you can easily access through one hand and also the browser is accessible through one hand and yeah we have all of the like uh, default apps which are turned into black because of the night mode so it's not actually their default UI 
then let's check the camera now camera is the main thing everyone's here for the camera so uh, and you can see i've set it to uh, so yeah let me set it to this full stuff okay so uh, this is how the camera looks and the ui is exactly like a google camera like google pixel camera with app you can see photo video super slow motion slow motion okay at the right and again swiping again hyperlapse or fast motion and virtual sort so these are the options available and also we have this selective focus pro panorama and food mode so yeah you can like you have all of the options needy options which were present in oreo we also have ar emoji and you can create your own emoji so let's create your own image and let's see if pi has something new but you can say i cannot create it i don't know why maybe you can you have to download those apps like my emoji uh, or maybe it's missing because it is a deep loaded rom but if you're on official rom it will work and this is also an official but a t to level flashable zip i think I, you guys get it a t to level flashable zip is for the like rooted users or the users with t to level installed and you can see we don't get that slider bottom slider for apps so you need to like do you do it manually and yep it's like actually smoother than oreo so i'm really liking it so guys let's take some inside features and i don't see anything inside just the night mode you can see you can turn off it now or turn on by schedule so if i turn it off you get the normal mode which is available into screen mode we get amulet cinema amulet photo basic and adaptive displays all shit same then white balance you can like if you want it more cooler or if you want it more warmer the display you can set it then we also have the rgb display stuff so you can like change and screen edge color so charge your battery before adjusting colors at the edge of screen so if you want your edge screen to be matched to your screen like sometimes that white is here so if you want that match then you can just use this and you need to charge 30 percent before so this is actually weird like charging 30 percent screen zoom screen resolution all same nothing is new and font size and style is like this thing is changed so it was like screen zoom and font i guess then home screen like the home screen stuff here edge screen we have edge panels and edge lighting and yeah you can see we have the same options in oreo like nothing is added additional touch protection video announcer everything is here so video announcer is also here and advanced features so let's check them uh, not yeah advanced features then you can see same smart pop-up view smart capture direct share reduce animation this is one of the greatest options if you don't want animations you can see it easily reduces the animations and uses a like quick transition view or what is faded view i don't know why why like what it is called but yeah it uses that then let's move into display oh it's already over lock screen and then we get lock screen clock style you can see uh, this is a new clock style which is available in pi and it's default and the font is also changed it's now not the samsung default font so yeah it's actually changed then yeah you can also set it for aod and always on display also you can see it's changed a new font and also the icons like whatever you have notifications it will come like this then into clock style and into always on display we get some new stuff like it's you can see it's screen display or this uh, uh this were available already then the calendar view and the gif maybe this was also available earlier but i didn't take a look at it so yeah and face widgets also you can customize you have seen show on always on display and lock screen and music today's schedule next alarm and weather like all of the stuff is there so guys one feature is added into like the one ui for like one ui easy access so for that you need to go into display into navigation bar and you can see full screen gestures now yes full screen gestures have been added here so you can check button order so my navigation bar which is by default this so button order is this bag home and reasons so while full screen gestures you just need to choose back so it goes back then the middle one goes to home and this the first one check recent 
and you can see we don't have the recent gesture so it returns to that same app but you can see it's really handy and it hides the whole bar and you get full screen usage so if you're an app just press this if you're in a browser and if you want to like pages press this then if you want to switch apps just go through this so you can see switching apps is easier and when you press on like the recent apps it takes you to the one app back so the last recent app you're using it's the one which comes first like into the view so you can see it's really easy and recent app view has this search icon and also the last five apps you have used so yeah this is one feature which is added into pi because of one ui and guys this is the ui of the device care which is the smart manager and stuff you can see into battery it's still learning patterns storage memory and yeah a lot of memory is free here you can like clean and then you check and security or you have to activate all of this shit so that your phone will be secure so yeah you can see you can do all of this shit here in the device care then as you can see i'm on a custom rom and oem unlock option is there so i've already done it and auto update system option and you can see quick setting developer tiles so you can add these of the tiles which is available in android pi then usb debugging and other stuff and also we have this uh, uh maybe yeah you can see dpi you can change dpi uh, on your own like whatever the dpi you want so yeah it's android pi feature so it will be available everywhere so guys now let's take a look at the installation and now i'm not going to exactly show you that installation but i'm going to show you how to install it so you need to uh, press uh, like power off your device at first and let it power off and yes for this installation like this is twrp installation way not the normal method of odin and all so you need to press the volume up, the pick speed and the power button to boot your device into TWRP recovery. Now this is a boot logo guys, I will show you the like proof, you can see it's my Galaxy S8 only. You can see Galaxy S8 back, so it's <laughs> like it's boot logo only, so don't get confused. Then you can see you need to go to wipe advanced options, check these options and swipe to wipe to wipe your older ROM and go into your about oops sorry go into install internal storage where the zip is stored and you can see g95x which means g950f and it's actually galaxy s8 pyrom so for my me it's my galaxy s8 pyrom so i'm going to confirm flash and then we have all of the options available inside like magic and all that's it nothing more options and also you can choose csc so maybe i can cancel aroma I'm not going to actually install it because I have already installed and everything is set up so I will exit Aroma at the last. Then you have to choose language and agree, next and check click on install. Then you can check root so I will just choose magisk. Then you need to choose app selection so whatever apps you want to delete by the default you can check delete and whatever the apps like if you want some google apps, google camera, phone you can check then some apps miscellaneous you can check them then csc uh, it's actually omc multi csc so you can check your csc mine is the indian variant g950fd so i'm going to check ins and here are some csc features so you can check csc and now when you click on install the installation will begin now i have already installed and i don't want to set up that against so that's why i would not install and then just wait for your device to boot up and yeah you can set up one ui and finally guys yes galaxy s8 like you can install one ui and that and that is actually crazy so yeah that's it guys for the video if you guys are really like this video and the installation also i have not shown you installation because so this is just a boot logo just don't get mad with it because this is my galaxy s8 okay and if i even if you install stock from the boot logo stage, so yeah, I don't know why. So guys, that's for the video. If you guys really like this video, press the like button. Also subscribe for more videos and yeah, subscribe button is here. And yeah, like, subscribe and do it. And bye bye. I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Bye.